Hi everyone, it's Marie here again. Uh, my latest journal share. This one's a bit, uh, a bit uh, pink and a bit more girly than the ones I've been doing lately. But uh, I used um, this is a, a guest design team project for uh, Artie Mays, my December design team project. So um, the Victorian children features all the little girls. So that's um, that's why it's turned out to be a little bit on the on the pinky side. It's quite girly. So uh, I've made a hard cover. Uh, it's a, a recycled book cover, and I've done a spine with um, reinforced card, and it's covered in um, some muslin on the inside. I think there's two layers of muslin on the spine on the inside, and then the whole of the whole of the book is covered with a. I did a, a pink fabric and then I put some muslin on top and then I distressed it with some uh, pink distress ink. Um, so it's got quite a nice textured feel to it and then I've put a strip of lace around and on the front I've put in a frame one of the images from the kit, one of the photos. I've printed it on um, on calico and just cut it out and put it in a frame with a little, little bit of uh, fraying around the edge. And then I've put a little bit of um a little bit of doily here with a little pink edge on. And as a fastener, I haven't done a fixed fastener, I've just put this elastic lace around and just tied it here so you can be can be used that way or you can do it across ways or even without at the moment it's fine. Without um without a fastener I think, but um that will be there's an alternative as a fastener. Uh, so two signatures. Uh, that's over 100 pages in total. Probably, I'm not sure, maybe 100 and, 104, something like that. There's uh, definitely over 100. And on the spine, I had a go at doing the, the cross binding. Um, I'd seen uh, one of the lovely ladies on Junk Journal Junkies uh, Facebook group. Jean Morton. Um, I'd recently done a lovely journal with some cross stitch. And I think she had more signatures than this, but I've only got two, so it's probably easier. But I thought I'd just have a go. Um, it turned out okay. It took a while. It's <laughs> got myself in a bit of a twist doing it, but uh, it has worked. Um, so yeah, that's something I might try again in the future. So thanks for giving me the the inspiration for that, Jean. Right, so let's get. Um, I've put some uh, nickel, silver coloured um, book corners on as well, just to reinforce the edges. Okay, so let's go inside. So in the front cover, this is a a sheet of paper from the kit that I've covered the the front inside cover and the back cover as well. And I made a lace pocket here. This is one of the postcards from the kit, the little poem. And here I've just put a little. A fabric ruffle, a little bit of doily, and a princess castle charm on there, and just a little bit of uh, grey lace trim. Um, and the first signature, well, both the signatures have got this paper from the kit as their cover, which is nice distressed um, floral. And here, I've just put a little bit of a little paper doily and a rough uh, seam binding ruffle, just for decoration. And this is uh, another paper from the kit with one of the little girl images on. And this uh, ticket here that can be used for a tuck spot. And some light stenciling. I've just edged the page with some pale pink lace. A little bit of stamping on here. And here I've just took one of the photo images from the kit. Just layered it on some floral cardstock and some uh, nice pink, pink doily. Uh, well, pink edged doily there, which I've used that throughout here in a few places. A little lined paper from the kit, and again, it's decorated with a paper doily and a little lace trim. And the same on that side, and that's the floral paper again. A bit of script stamping, some stenciling. Another lovely page from the kit. The, again, the doily decoration at the top. And on the other side is one of the lined background papers from the kit. A little bit of sari silk. Here I've made a flip tuck spot. A little bit of lined paper for writing. Doily. 
um, tag from the kit and just a little piece of leftover paper just some uh, extra journaling I actually um, didn't use all the um, ephemera and photos from the kit but I did use quite a few and I've only incorporated a couple of all the things that weren't in the kit but I'll show you them as we go through and this is a uh, I think I shrunk down a page from the kit there just to make a little flip up and done some decorative stitching and here I've made a, a tuck spot um, and one of the envelopes from the kit and then that is just some uh, some lined extra journaling paper another page from the kit I've made this into a large pocket and then I printed one of the pages shrunk down onto some watercolour paper I've become quite a fan of the watercolour paper just lately um, it's a really good weight so it's like a you can use it as a for journaling cards and also um, Yeah, just it's just a really nice way. I just really like using the watercolour paper at the minute. So that's that one. That's backed onto some uh, tea dyed paper with a bit of script stamping. Some vintage ledger paper. I've uh, fussy cut a couple of bits from one of the pages. And just layered it with a paper doily and done some fancy stitching. And there's a tag from the kit. Some lined paper from the kit. In the centre of the signature. And one of the pages. Lovely image on. Little, there's room for writing. I mean, you could write on here. It's all very pale, and an outlined page from the kit. And vintage ledger paper again on the other side of the pocket. And so it's got one of the postcards from the kit in there. Tea dyed paper, square paper, another flip up with a little writing space, some extra journaling paper, and a double tag from the kit some lace and some ribbon another lined background page and again just decorated with the doily a little bit of fabric doily there um, made a little flip out here with some vintage ledger paper and it's also a tuck spot in the back with a card from the kit and again you can use that as a little tuck spot it's a nice page there's one of the pockets from the kit and this is, um, I've included a couple of these that I've made, um, you might have seen them, the padded um, fabric tags that I've been making because the images went well with this kit so I've just incorporated a couple of them in here as well. And then the second signature, the same cover and in the front is a large pocket page, another shrunk down, shrunk down page printed on watercolour paper and on the little tabs from the kit. And that's just backed onto tea dyed paper with some stenciling, some pink lace, some stenciling, another vintage ledger paper, clip out, it's a tuck spot with a postcard from the kit, another page from the kit with a doily trim, and again that can be used as a little tuck spot, some stenciling, another little uh, layer in that's a photo from the kit. Um, just lay it up onto a doily again. Vintage ledger paper, flip up tuck spot again with a double double tag printed on watercolour paper, lace and ribbon, extra piece of paper for journaling. The little tuck spot there, another one of my fabric padded tags, the little girl on, a pin and a like an old um like a uh, like a popper I'm sorry bang the camera like a popper stud clipped onto there the page from the kit the doily trim and here we've just got a very light script stamping on these pages it's a background lined page center of the signature oh. lined page some stenciling on there uh, took a spot made with some of the paper from the kit, another postcard, lace trim, flip up, some stenciling, another lovely image, and another corner flip with a lined paper. Uh, this is a double journaling card from the kit printed on 
watercolour paper again, some extra German paper, vintage ledger paper, uh, doily trim with sari silk, and um, uh, seam binding on that side, stenciling, stenciling with lace, and then the, another with a large pocket, and in here we've got a one of these long envelopes with a with a piece of journaling paper inside. That's just on that large pocket there with a paper clip, and then that's the back of the second signature. And then again, the back I've put a lace pocket with some fabric um, ruffle trim and a little bit of pink doily. And then one of the envelopes from the kit, which again has got some tea stained lined paper inside. So that's the that's the end of that. So it's a very pretty um it's a pretty little kit, so I just sort of make it a little bit girly. So this is um sugar and spice this one is. And it's using the uh, Artie Mays vintage children kit. And the add-on as well, some elements from the add-on, because Andrea gave me the, the main kit and the add-on, which is great. And there are papers in there that can cross over into other journals as well. So that's my Sugar and Spice, which will be going up for sale very soon in my Etsy. So I'm going to look out for that. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!